What up guys, it is Fantastic Warlord with a new video. Well, it's more or less a new suit that I'm working on. It's basically reviewing all the mobile games that I come across over the years, so hope you all enjoy it. Alright, so our first gander is at a simple game called Jeppe Joy, which literally the plot involves a person named Barry Snakefires running eternally in a lab that never ends and you know what it works it, it's weird how it works it's that it keeps you entertained but it shouldn't but it's a pretty damn it does a good job at it well with the interface basically you can customize your jetpacks clothing vehicles you can also apply, apply gadgets and upgrade your power-ups, which you get while running. Also, when you die, and you you collect a certain coin, you basically are able to play a lottery-type best game where you can... Well, it's a slot machine, and you have a chance of either getting double coins... Well, you can get anything from double coins to, like bombs of different types like dynamite actual bombs and like atomic blast which can really boost your score because of further distance as well as you can also get a second chance to run back and nobody cares about that well i don't care about that right now but i'll get back to eh, whatever uh well besides that let's take a look at the jetpacks as you can see, there is a wide variety of jetpacks you can buy from a regular golden version of the original jetpack to literally a cow that's strapped with a piece of rope to a very, very, very high, uh, I believe the chrome plated afterburner, which is literally a jet engine that's strapped upward to your back to even balloons. Hold up, let me go back in there. See, literally just a balloon, it's just that. Even a teddy bear or literally a fruit ninja easter egg right there, like... What can go wrong? Well, here are the costumes. You can get anything from Santa Claus to a Super Saiyan, to like the Matrix and even people from different girls, like... Biftainen from well, I only I couldn't do the event a lot, but Biftainen from Back to the Future, and our um and our local health workers and first responders basically fighting the virus while we're sitting here in quarantine doing nothing but doing a stupid video, aka okay, me. You can become a hobo. You can literally become a SWAT unit, a nerd, punk. Heck, you can become Phil. Phil's the goat. Nah, uh, you become the sensei from Fruit Ninja, Termaberry. Alright, it's Terminator and Berry called Termaberry, but it's, it sounds like an actual fruit that should not be made. You've got the hazmat suit to make you blend in with the other scientists, but really just makes you look like a nerd. <laughs> nah, um, we also have the alley oop, which makes you look like a basketball star, but oh my god, that arm looks awkward. But you become a king, ninja. DJ Barry always looks nice, a clown, sailor, a knight which reminds me of Arthur, and Elvis. With the vehicles you got a wide variety, even though it does with each event probably add something else. Like back to the future you can play with the hoverboard of the DeLorean. With this, you have Sam which is literally a one day item which, well it's not one day if you watch the ads but Literally, what it does is that you have three hits, but you have an arm which you have to hold down on the screen, which moves it up and down, and you have to block missiles, but it gets faster and harder each time you block. Honestly, that's a good way to get further in the game, because if you have that, I believe, if you have that still in your inventory, or in your, like, I guess, add icon, you can watch the video, and basically, it you instantly get a free revive. And the suit, so you'll be fun. Badass hog is not bad. It's not the best, but it really is not the. 
it's honestly it's really down here because it is hard to control because where you only get to go up and down but where you land is more or less a guessing chance which does kind of ruin it a bit but it's not that bad the crazy freaking teleporter honestly i feel like is the best one because if you you can really time it perfectly so that you don't get hit by it anything and it really is good for like getting to those high numbers that you're trying to beat the high scores it's really easy to get up there also doctor who reference gravity suit is one of the good ones as well because it does allow a form of versatility which other games do not do because you're able to run on the ceiling as well as on the floor and also you can spam it so that you literally just spin in the circle spin upside down and upside right and it oh shoot i never had the saranara um thing but it's all right but still um it allows you to have a new different type of play style also magnet man little stomper little stomper is really good too just because it is it is kind of it is more it's more enjoyable to use but it has the same flaw with baddest hog that sometimes you won't land perfectly but the thing is that this is better because you actually can hold it again so you actually have a fire up boost that can slowly lower you to the ground so you'll be fine also um t-rex from the other game right there um mr cuddles which is literally a dragon just hold it hold it to go down let it go to go up it's simple and then you got the well i like the i like to call the flying nimbus but besides that and you finally you got profit bird which is honestly one of the best because it's the easiest way to get coins in a good amount of time and also it does it it actually is it's easier to control um also mecha micro but besides that, you also have the Slay of Awesomeness and the Wave Rider, which bubbles and Chair to Harmony, aka My Little Pony type of thing. But these two are really good, also because they are really nice additions, and also they add a game changer. Well, Slay of Awesome works more like Mr. Cuddles as Wave Rider. Actually, no, both of these work pretty much like Mr. Cuddles, but with a, their own different designs but it, it it's different it's different in variety well in scenery and technical gameplay it it is really nice and then we've come to the gadgets where everybody knows flash the freak to the stupid missile jam at insta ball to the free ride to coin magnet everybody knows these everybody knows and loves these items but not all of them are the best but some of them are really fun to use when you're just trying to have fun and test stuff. So, don't forget about this menu. You're going to need it. And then power-ups are recently added, which allow a little more easy. It's more, it allows the user to have an easier run, but at the same time, they're not placed out really constantly. Unless you're really lucky, they can constantly get them back to back so that you actually have, I believe, no, not that you have a chance, but like you have an increased chance to, I believe, get further. Coin Dash really just disables all of the zappers and just gives you a trail of coins. Well, it disables both zappers and and um, missiles. Boost works like the 750 and 1500 boost at the beginning of the game, but I believe it's only for like 500 meters. Shield gives you an extra hit. And rocket time slows down time and only sends missiles at you. But thing is that they come in at random, well not at random, but random waves. And you have to block them two. You have to block two waves of them, and then you instantly get a free um, vehicle at the end, which is very, very good. And besides that, honestly, this oh yeah, and with the new event, basically it's healthcare workers. Jet, well, half half brick decided to make an update for basically social dis distancing, which involved a lot of nice rewards, including a Doctor Berry, a new Doctor skin, but I forgot the name, and then a sanitizer jetpack, which is really really nice. 
So that's pretty much it. That is my review of Jetpack Joyride. It's a fun game down to the last detail. And hope you guys enjoy it like I did. And have fun. So as I say with the end of these videos, hopefully you have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.